Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing, something that came in from, looks like TW Price Design. So, let's see what we have. Been looking forward to this thing for a while. This is something I've been trying to get hold of for a very long time. Let me just get this open right here. So we get it good. Alright, no paperwork. And let's see what we got here. Today I'm opening up with my EMP EDC relative. This is the, um, is it 20 CV I believe? Yeah, this is the CPM 20 CV um, clip point Tonto version. Love this knife. One of my favorite knives of 2023. If not, my absolute favorite. All right, so this is TW Price Design as you can see. Nice little box. First time I've ever received anything from them. So let's take a look. I actually did pre-order something from them, the Rain. It's a beautiful little card. TWD um, Certificate of Authenticity, Dawn version 2, M390. This is in the gray handle. All right, so let's take a look. Nice little cloth with it. And we'll just go ahead and put that over here to the side. All right, so here is the knife. Beautiful gray handles. Nice rounded all the way across. Little milled clip. You can see that's a fully milled clip. Nice little ramp, perfectly rounded, no sharp edges. There's a front flipper, does have a fuller thumb hole, whatever you call it. I call it a fuller. Um, it's not truly a thumb hole you can get in there, but it's a fuller. Two standoffs in the back, two screws there, no screw there, pivot there. Looks like these are all T8s all the way around. So total of four screws on this knife. The screw probably goes all the way through for the standoffs. Dead nut centered. It's got a little purple anodized pivot collar, which is cool on both sides. It is a looks like a captive pivot, which is nice. This looks like a black stone washed. You can see that in the corners. Jimping goes all the way around to the top, which is nice. Feels pretty good in the hand. Not super small, not super big. There's a liner lock. You can see that as well. Very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this open. It is a front flipper, so... Oh, got a little... There we go. Nice, beautiful... Looks like stonewash. Almost looks DLC, but I don't think it is. It's not. Um, beautiful flat grind all the way up to the top. Nice little swedge. You can see that. No pivot plates in there nicely. Locks up at a good 40%. Let's see. Access. Yep. It's cut away. You can easily get to it. Chamfered. Let's see how easy that is to release. Nice. Does close pretty well. Let's see how about getting the finger in there? Oops. All right. So it's, there we go. All right, so this is breaking in, brand new. There we go, oh, okay, I like that finger tool right there. You can choke up like that if you want it to, which is nice, you can do a pinch grip, which is cool. It drops really well. Let's see, can I, yeah, you can do the thumb hole opening. Reverse flick, nicely. All right, so it is right hand tip up only. This is, looks like an inset, uh, um, inset clip. So let's do a left hand, see how it works. Really nice, really nice. Can I, do the front flip like button it? Let's see here. Yeah, absolutely. You can do the front flip like, I mean, top flip. Thumb, thumb flip or thumb deployment, really nice. Yeah, that opens really nice. Wow, okay. All right, so let's listen to the detent ball. You ready? Nice clickety, no detent lash. Any pivot lash? No? Feels like it's in there pretty good. All right, now that I get a feel for where it is, that deploys really nice. Let me see here, how about this? Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Good, good golly, Miss Molly. All right, does it? So, just really, one thing that I really, really appreciate. For a front flipper, this is tuned what I would consider really well, okay? I wanna be able to do that. That should not be something that tears my skin off, right? Especially if you're gonna prioritize a front flipper, which I think this is. This is primarily a front flipper and it's done really well. The texturing, by the way, it's really outstanding. Super outstanding texture on here. Nice room there. It is a tie clip, so it's nice, perfect there. But man, look at that, the drop, right? Finger twirl catches, I can drop. I can do it, you know, eyes closed, not worry about it. You can be over here, close that. 
really nice. Oh, man. All right, I'm back. Sorry, someone bur burst right into my office as I was recording this video. It was my wife. I had to do some honeydews. I got some things I got to go do and take care of, and she made some fresh homemade baked bread, and I had to try it out. And let me tell you, it is amazing. So good. So good. Oh, just really nice. Sorry, I got a little distracted by all that. Here we go. So anyways, we were talking about this. The, I think I was talking about the milling. The milling is really fantastic. It's beautifully done on both sides. Nice and rounded all the way across. It is contoured, you can see that. It gives you a beautiful grip, a nice tight grip. I got uh, large hands. Got a little extra room there, so I think extra large hands, just fine. If you choke up, absolutely double extra, triple extra large hands. And this can easily be choked up on. Now I got big meaty fingers, so you know if I turn it in a little bit like that, it works just fine. If you got skinnier fingers, it'll be just fine. You can choke up certainly like that. You can actually hold it pretty tight up here if you need it to as well. It does have some jimping back here for some good control. It is pretty swedge all the way around, which means it's gonna be a really nice slicey kind of a blade. Let's feel the edge. Edge is pretty sharp. Let's look at that. It looks like a pretty short edge on one side. Pretty even on both. It is a full flat grind. Comes out to a very thin edge. Very, very thin edge. That's nice. This spine looks like it's gonna be like 0.11 or even less. It just feels really nice slicey. Wow, and for being so skinny, I mean, it feels really, actually it's ridiculous. I, I, I normally don't do this, but I'm gonna measure that blade width thickness just cause I am just curious. Yeah, it's 113, 113 thousands of an inch. So that's 0 0.11, 0 0.114. So it's a thin, thin blade. I mean, relatively speaking for the size of the knife overall, I mean, cause the knife here is, we're looking at seven and a half inches in the knife, which is really comfortable. It's about my sweet spot. Seven and a half to eight inches is where I really like to have a knife. Fits really well in hand. As long as you get a, can get a little, Good full presentation. By the way, squeeze, that does not dig in. It's not hot spots in there. No, nope, no, nope, not at all. Left-handed, no, nope, not at all. Really, really comfortable. No sharp edges anywhere. A lot of the little finishes that are absolutely critical in a knife. Really well taken care of. All right, so I get, I get, I get the hype about the Dawn. I do, and it's definitely been worth the wait to get one of these. I was really grateful to be able to get one of these, man. And it was kind of a, a weird, thing that happened I guess this particular version didn't upload during the go live and so 15 minutes later he noticed none of those sold he put them up I happened to come back just at 15 minutes and lo and behold it was still there with a couple of the Domus deals and I bought one so I feel bad for the guys who probably were looking for one of these but you know I was able to get it at the time and uh, golly I'm just grateful I'm beyond grateful for that I do, I know he's coming out with a new Dawn version three, but I hope he continues to make more of these because these are just really phenomenal. Really, really phenomenal. I like these a lot. Really nice. Wow, yeah, this works really well. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's do that drop action again. Okay, so I don't know if you see that. Put your thumb in there. Easy access, nice cutaway, big meaty fingers, no problem. Push in, it drops really well, catches right there, not going to be a guillotine on your finger. And then the action is sweet. And this is not even broken in yet, okay? Never mind if I put some skiffs in there and put a little oil in there, man, this thing's going to be crazy nuts. Crazy, crazy nuts. I'm looking forward to that. Wow. Really, really cool. Okay. All right, so let's do a couple close-ups here so you can all can see this. But this is Dawn version 2. This is what the black coated uh, blade and the plain titanium with the purple anodized, um, if you will, um, titanium collar. T8 hardware. All right, let's look at the other side here. Give you a nice close look up at that as well. M390 blade steel. See that beautiful collar there? I don't know if it says it anywhere on there. Does it say M390 anywhere? No. All it has is TW, that's his only logo, it's that one thing. Such a beautiful, minimal, minimalistic billboarding on this blade. And even that, that's absolutely, I like that. It's so elegant. It's such a such a nice touch. It's like an artist who drew a painting and has that little itty bitty, just little touch on their canvas. 
right? It's not billboarded. It's just, it's like a, an artist signed his painting. Just really elegant. I mean, this guy's got an eye. He's got an eye for knives. I love his design style. Man, I can't wait to see more because I did pre-order The Rain. And if you haven't checked out The Rain, I'll, I'll put a link for that one down there too. Because when he drops those, he'll profit some extras. Um, that rain had that look to me. You may, you may not agree with it, but the rain had that look of a sort of like a hog house knives and a Holt Blade Works kind of meets, you know, um, I don't know, a Richard Rogers sort of knife, production knife. I mean, just, but completely different. Not a copy of any of them, but yet almost felt felt like a little influence from all of them. Has that really high end look. And this, this knife is no different. I've seen a lot of these videos for this knife. A lot of them. And I was always like, man, I really would love to get one. And then when I had a chance, I was so excited. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see the blade. And here is this little minimalistic signature that I'm talking about. Full flat grind, beautiful swedge on top, which is going to allow it to be very functional. The milling and the anodized pivot collar, T8 screws. Okay, let's look at the other side. Here's the, uh, the deep pocket carry clip. You can see that fully milled right there, right? And here again, black coated plate uh, with a fuller, really nice. And let's look at the let's look at the liner lock. That's really full recessed liner lock. That is really nicely done, really nicely done. And here you can see the milling texture on here, and then you can see the chamfered liner lock there. Really well done. Let's look at the back here. See the texture on there. Everything rounded, even the standoffs back there. Really wonderful. Look at that milling. All right, so let me close that and show you the blade utilization here. That's pretty darn close. I mean, could he have pulled it back a little bit more? Yeah, but the aesthetic works. It works really, really well. That pivot is pretty high up there. One thing I didn't check, and it seems perfectly fine. All right, so you clear the detent. There's the, there's, well, there's the clutch right there. You're past the double clutch right there, okay? And it doesn't really matter because you have this beautiful finger twirl to catch it on, which just works exquisitely, absolutely exquisitely. So I'm super excited about that. And, and that blade profile, and I did it again. I did it again. I've been doing this lately. I'm so excited. I get so caught up in the knives. Sorry. Um, you got that beautiful finger choil right there. It catches down there really nicely. What I was saying is this right here, it just catches. It's not going to be in your way. Hopefully it was in camera. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. I get so excited about some of these knives. Sometimes I forget that I'm zoomed in. You know what I mean? You know, it's, it's, it's always cool when it's something like this. And it, I slept all day Saturday. I've been so exhausted from work. And so I'm, I'm rested. But you're not getting the super hyper because I'm not overtired. And uh, I genuinely am super sick, stinking excited, super stinking excited about this knife. I think it's sick. I think it's awesome. The design elements are fantastic. If you can get a hold of one of these, absolutely do. Please do. This is just, um, I love this. And I love the rain, the one he's coming out with. And I even saw sort of like a little sneak peeks on his Instagram about the the Dawn 3, that looks interesting. Um, it completely changes, I think, if, if I remember correctly, it's a different look or a different approach altogether than this Dawn. I do hope he keeps the version 2 come back. I mean, this is such a beautiful design. This is one of these things that, like, just like Sharp by Design, when he comes back and he does his Evo a Typhoon and he brings it back, I hope this is one of those knives that comes back because it's just a beautiful knife. It really is. This aesthetic itself is just gorgeous. I love the functionality. It is just an ergonomically pleasing knife to use. Man, I, and, and already I am stinking enjoying this even before I put skiffs in there, which I'm going to probably end up doing, <clears throat> to be truthful. Um, and you guys probably see all my videos. I got tons of videos on skiff. I might not even record that. I might just do it myself, <clears throat> unless you guys absolutely want to see that. Uh, but um, now I'm going to put a little oil in there. So and that's all there is to it. And if I do, if I do a quick video of the skiffs, it's going to be maybe I'll attach it at the end. So I'll say my goodbye at the very end here. And uh, if I'll say, you know, stick around for part two, you know, you, you can actually uh, watch the inst installation of the skiffs. If I do, if I record it, right, I'll do that. How about that? Hello, y'all. YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, we're going to be doing a little maintenance and skiff installation on this TW Price Design Dawn version 2. So let's get into it. A lot of this stuff will be fast forwarded because you've seen these videos before and this is just my way to share the internals of a knife and kind of get the experience of it. And so part of that is I have some skiffs. I have a little cheat sheet. We'll use that to get into it. I already know that all of these are T8s. So we'll just double check. 
T8's there. And then we'll go over here. T8 there as well. All right. So let's get into this. I recommend good tools so you can open these tools and not strip the screws. All right? You have good leverage when you're in there. Doesn't look like there's hardly any oil in there at all, which is fine. Very cool. All right, let me get my little cloth over here. Where to go? There it is. So I know people have already put skips in this, and uh, that's fine. But I'm going to just double check them here. So one sixteenth. Let's look at the pivot hole. Five millimeter. Yeah, one sixteenth and five millimeter. Okay. That is the blade stop pin. I don't want to lose that. Let me take off the little, little washers that are in there. Get that oil off. Clean off these little washers. Not much dirt in there, which is good. Really good job. Excellent job. And I always like to check out the washers, see how dirty they are. Yeah, there's a little dirt in there. It's not bad. Now, what you'll notice on these guys is they're wrapped around. You see that? Um, these are really good. I mean, for 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 OEM uh, washers, they're they're not bad at all. I will tell you that. They move really well, and sometimes when I get these, they they don't move well. They're very gritty. These move really, really well. But I'm hoping I have some 5mm 1 16 So I'll make sure they fit in there. They do. Do they fit on the pivot? They do. Perfect. I'll clean the pivot off. And how do we know it's a captive pivot? Right there. See a little D shape right there? It's perfect. And that will go right in there. That's where it gets captive. And you can see this is inset liner lock. You see that? It's an inset set inside the titanium frames. So it's not a liner, it's an inset liner lock, which is really cool. So if I wanted to adjust this, I would have to take this off and bend the bar, which I've done before. But man, he tuned this really well. I'm, I'm, I am I'm, one of the few times I'm not going to tune it. I'm going to leave it. I think it's perfect. Really, really outstanding. I, I don't often do that, but yeah, in this case, I, I think it's absolutely warranted. Absolutely 100% warranted. So, I believe this is the side. Yeah, it's captive list. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to have over here on this side. It'll go through like that. And then it's going to go face down. So this will be down like about there. Right? And then I'm going to put my, my, make sure my little stop pin is clean. Clean that off. Okay, and I'm going to put my little washer. Now notice this side here and this side. This is a little smoother, so I'm going to put it on that side. All right. And this is where the uh, clip was. I don't think I cleaned the inside of this one out. Oh, I didn't. Clean the back out of that one. That's a little bit of Loctite there, I think. All right, so now we're clean there. All right, so let's put our little insets. Make sure none of these are captive. Are they captive? No, none of them are. Good. They should probably be the same size for both. They are perfect. Now, before I do that, I'll put a little oil. Some people like a whole lot less oil. I put a little bit more. And I'm almost out of this bottle. This is Nano Oil 10 Weight Nano Oil. And that's what I use, is Nano Oil 10 Weight. Here's my Nano Oil 85 Weight. That's going to go on to the detent hole and the detent bar when we're ready for that. I want to use my last drops I have in here. Put it on top, and then before we put everything together, Put a little bit of the nano oil on here. 
before I do that, let me clean off the extra oil here. I'm going to use an 85 weight on this part. Oh, and look at this. I don't know if you see this. Let me zoom in. It's got a little ramp on there. That's nice. It's part of that beautiful action. I always love that touch. It's a little extra. It always makes the knife cost a little bit more. It's an extra bit of machining that has to be done. Extra bit of tolerances you have to be careful about. But man, so appreciate it. So appreciate it. Okay. Let's put a little drop on here in the ball over here. Now we're ready to reassemble. Assuming I've got that right in the right place. Let me see, make sure I get that lined up. Because that's my cap to pivot, there we go. Nice, everything came together well. Nice, 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 nice. Love that. Before I put my Loctite on, I'm gonna just assemble everything, make sure I don't have to reassemble again. Sometimes if you didn't get things just together right, best fix is take it apart, reassemble it again. So I go backwards. I hear the click, then I know I'm threaded, and I go forward. So at least I get a little bit of resistance, all right? So now we're in. Okay, and then I'm gonna assemble the rest of the things here. Reverse thread till I get it through. Put that through, go on the other side. Some of these already have some Loctite on there, so I may not even have to put Loctite on here, honestly. Believe it or not, that Loctite, even in the dry state, is enough there that I think it'll hold it well. Okay, let's see how we are. Are we centered? Dead center. No blade playing, make sure I'm not too tight. Hit my hand, there we go. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. All right, that was really fun. That was really cool. That went together really well. Everything, I mean, I don't know, when you get a knife that works well, that fits well, and then you put it together, I'm gonna save these washers in here for this knife. So I know that these are the original OEM washers over here. These were pretty good OEM washers, by the way. I was very impressed by that. And there's the OEM cloth. It's not one of those super duper cloths, but it's nice to have to keep it protected, right? It's a nice little touch for protection from scratching. So I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so what I am going to do now is I'm going to put a little Loctite on the pivot so it doesn't travel because we're nice and centered. Oops, I like the action right now. And that's going to break in, I think, really well with this. The skiffs. In this case, would skiffs really have made a big difference? No, I don't think so. Would you have been fine? I mean, those were pretty good. Well, like I said, they were pretty good cage barracks. Very impressed with them. Very impressed with them. So I don't know if they really were necessary. I just like to put them in. And uh, it just fits really well, you know? So, and I find in the long term, it makes a difference, right? And especially if you have what we call pivot, pivot uh, lash, that's when the, the bearings aren't perfectly symmetrical and when you're here in this area where it's not being locked in place by the lock bar the, uh, the uh, uh, blade stop pin or by the lock bar here sometimes you can have shaking of the blade because it's not even it's just moving or wobbling around and skiffs their tolerances are really good that you don't you don't I've never had that happen matter of fact every time I put skiffs in it removes that issue matter of fact somebody let me borrow their voodoo and it had a little bit of pivot lash and uh, I said hey you know if I had had the skiffs, I would have put it on for them. Unfortunately, I did not. And so um, uh, they did. When they got the knife back after they lent it to me, fixed the issue right up. Really nice. So that was very cool. All right. Very cool little knife. I like this. I like this a lot. Very thin edge. Very thin edge. We'll see how that works. It's pretty sharp. So, all right, let me go ahead and do the, lock, the Loctite. Just want to get it into the threads, okay? That's all. Let me get it on top. Just on the threads, and I'm going to let it travel a little bit. I 
Now, because it has a black PVD coating on here, black stone wash coating, that track is going to develop. You saw a little bit of a line in the track before I oiled it, but it's going to continue to open up and come smoother and smoother. So that'll be nice. So as with anything, when you fidget with it, it'll do that. Now I have to let that sit for 24 hours. You keep playing with it. It's not going to, it's not going to bond. So just make sure I didn't have it move. Nope. No blade play. Still closes, still dead center. All right. So that's it. That's all we got to do. That marks that, that get her done. So, so if I added this at the end, um, I'm probably, we'll go right back to the other video and, all right, very, very cool little knife. Pretty impressive. Pretty stinking excited. I can't wait to do the review. This is a first impressions unboxing, just so you know. And my first impressions are way better than I even expected, honestly. What a surprise. All right, man. Uh, great knife. Great experience. Great. Uh, it's going to be fun to use. All right. So, hey, if you have any questions about the channel, the video, the upcoming review, let me know in the comments down below. I do like to reply and talk to you guys. If you have any... Uh, any questions or ideas for future videos, let me know as well. I'd love to hear from you. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching today. So if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, would you please consider hitting the like uh, button? If you've already hit the like button, also consider hitting the subscribe button. Subscribing and liking the videos really, 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 genuinely helps out the channel. It allows the channel to grow, produce more content, ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you to all of you guys who watch the videos, who like, who subscribe. I appreciate you guys. And if you've already done all that, hit that notification button so you can be notified of future content like this video. And to all of my channel members, a big shout out, a big thank you, a big appreciation to you guys. I am so humbled that there's so many of you guys out there. You guys are amazing. We are coming up on the big 4K and uh, a lot of that has to do with you guys and being able to support the channel, be able to produce uh, more content and also be able to get the, the giveaways. A lot of that giveaway stuff is thanks to channel members and to you guys who subscribe. Thank you to all of you guys. You're amazing. And if you haven't already, maybe also check me out over on Instagram at Rob's, Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.